nowadays, when the news media talks about how the vaccine for COVID-19 is being researched, they explain how a vaccine is developed, the different stages, and when is it safe, and so on. It is not always clear to me what is the purpose of informing the population so much about the behind the scenes. I think that it it's something that has to do with trust, in my view. By showing what you're doing, then you will gain the trust of the people when the vaccine is ready, that you did everything fine, as opposed to black box and here is the vaccine ready. So it's again not about educating the public, but gaining a trust. There's something at stake. What is your take on that? Trust is a very subtle thing. It's, it's a crucial thing in keeping together a society, any kind of society, but it doesn't just depend on information, right? And there is indeed an idea here surrounding these issues having to do with vaccinations and resistance against vaccination, that the answer to the resistance is giving more information. But that's, in general, not how you build a relation of trust. Trust is never just built on information. It's always also a moral notion, right? Trusting someone has to do with how you feel towards this person. You feel that you can trust him or her. And the fact that you feel like this actually tells you that this person does not need to give all information because you trust him or her. So there is a deep tension between giving information and trusting Giving too much information can actually, or this is an argument you can make, can actually build distrust, right? Why is this? Why are they giving all this information? If it would really be a relation of trust, there would be no need to do this. And one thing you can immediately see is that it has a lot to do with self-identity. Tell me whom you trust, and I know who you are, or I know something important about who you are. And you see this exemplary in resistance to vaccination, right? It's, it's, it's not so much about a lack of information. It is really about a struggle around identities, about who gets to define whom I am and, and how I behave. So that's really central in these dynamics. And so if you want to develop ways to build trust, you'd better start thinking about this other moral dimension more than on just the epistemic dimension about delivering information. Even, I do agree, without information, no trust. And, and I wouldn't want a government to just black box these kind of processes. I wouldn't trust that.